In this video lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to integrate evidence from sources uh, that you found into your own writing. And this is a very important skill for research writing. Um, and when I'm teaching students who are, who are new to writing research papers um, and using research in their essays, a question that I often get is, how do I make, how do I make it my writing? How do I make it my idea? Um, if, if I'm finding information and ideas from sources, how do I make it my work and not just, you know, how do I avoid just repeating the ideas of other people? And so this lesson is going to show you how to do that. Uh, this lesson is going to show you how to take the ideas and the information that you're learning in your sources that you've researched and put them into your own work to create something that is your own writing and your own ideas. So I call this lesson integrating evidence into a paragraph because when you add evidence from a source into your writing, it must be integrated, which means it should fit into the flow of the writing of your writing and it should clearly be connected to the point that you are making in your writing. And so to do that, I'm going to teach you guys a simple five step process. Um, and this is kind of the simplest way to integrate evidence into your own writing. There are more complex ways to do this, and as you develop your academic writing skills, you will develop more complex ways to integrate evidence into your writing. However, if you're a beginner at this, it's good to just follow this simple process. In English, we say you need to learn to walk before you learn to run. And so this is going to be us walking through the process of integrating evidence from sources. So here's my five step process. Um, so step one is where you write the topic sentence and any other introductory sentences. And so this is just, you know, this is how you've probably always been writing paragraphs for your academic writing classes. So you should continue to do that. Write a strong introductory, uh, strong topic sentence and make sure you're introducing the topic of your paragraph. Um, step two is where you introduce the evidence with a signal phrase or reporting verb. And we'll see an example in just a moment. But the basic idea is you want to warn your reader that you are about to show them evidence from another source. Step three is where you paraphrase or you could quote uh, the evidence with a formal citation. And so this is where you are actually giving them the information from your source. Step four is where you explain the significance of your evidence. So step four is really important and it's the step that most of my students skip. And um, Step four is important because this is where you are telling the reader how your evidence actually supports the point that you're trying to make. And this is, the, this is actually the step where the ideas and the writing really become your own. And this is where you move beyond just repeating information from sources. So step four is really important and you cannot skip it. Step five, um, you write a concluding sentence and maybe you make a transition to your next paragraph. So again, this is, you know, this is just the good paragraph writing skills that you've probably been learning in your writing classes all along. So don't forget to do that. So this is the simple five-step process. And next, we're going to look at an example paragraph uh, where one of my former students did this really well and used this process really well. So I'm going to show you the example paragraph. And first, we'll just read it and get a good feeling for what the paragraph is about. Um, so this student was writing an essay for me about global warming. So you'll see that this is about global warming. And I will read the paragraph out loud, and you can follow along with me, just so we can get an idea of what the paragraph is about before we analyze it. <clears throat> Recognizing the effects of global warming informs us how serious the problem is. Due to the rising temperatures, ice in the Earth's poles have started melting. According to handwork, sea ice in the Arctic has already been reduced by 9% per decade and is projected by the ACIA to completely melt by the year 2100. The melting ice is a big serious problem 
because it is a cause for many second effects, such as losing habitats for many poles animals, losing freshwater resources, raising sea levels, floods and droughts will become more common, and some animal species extinction. To avoid this effects, we need to understand why the globe is warming. We need to look deep and search about the causes of this problem. So this is the example paragraph. And again, this was written by a student, so this is not a perfect paragraph. You may have noticed, you know, a couple of like grammar mistakes and vocabulary mistakes, but we're not worried about that right now because this is actually a really strong example of integrating evidence from sources. And so next we're going to analyze this paragraph to see how this student has followed this five-step process. And we will highlight each part so it can be very clear to us um, what the student is doing. So step one, write the topic sentence and any other introductory sentences. So if we look at the paragraph, we can see in the first two sentences, what we can see here is they're introducing the topic, um, the effects of global warming, um, and a little bit of, uh, and a little bit of introduction about how the rising temperatures um, is melting poles, uh, or sorry, melting ice at the Earth's poles. And so this introduces the topic and gets us kind of ready for the idea, the evidence that's going to be presented. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in yellow um, so that I can see that's step number one. And then next, the student introduces the evidence with a signal phrase or a reporting verb. So here we have according to. And according to is our signal phrase. Um, there are many different types of like signal phrases, reporting verbs, you know, use according to. Um, you might see things like, you know, handwork reports that, handwork argues that. Um, handwork insists that. So as long as you've got some sort of a reporting verb or signal phrase that, um, that communicates to the reader that this is going to be evidence from a source, then you're good. And step two is pretty simple. Step three, um, the evidence in this case is paraphrased. So here we see um, for this whole sentence, so the evidence here um, they're using some, some numbers and some, some data. Um, sea ice has been reduced by 9% per decade, projected to completely melt by the year 2100. Um, so this is the evidence they're presenting, and I know this is paraphrased because there are no quotation marks. So I'm going to highlight this in blue. Um, and the other thing to notice here is they've got their formal citation, handwork, and then in parentheses 2004. Uh, this is an example of an APA style in-text citation. Uh, and that tells us who, you know, that tells us who the source of the information was. The author was Handwork, and this article was published in the year 2004. Um, next, this student goes on to explain the significance of the evidence. So he, the evidence that this student presented was that, um, you know, ice is melting 9% per decade, and that it will completely melt by the year 2100. And so next, they have to tell us why this is important. Um, in other words, they were arguing that uh, global warming is a serious problem. So now they have to show us why this evidence um, demonstrates that global warming is a serious problem. And in the, next, uh, in the next sentence, they give us a lot of really clear reasons why uh, sea, melting sea ice is a serious problem. Um, and they do it by giving some examples of these secondary effects. Um, losing habitat for animals, um, losing fresh water, raising the sea level, floods and droughts, um, the extinction of species. So these are all really clear reasons why, um, why melting sea ice from their evidence is a serious problem. And so this is a great example of the student explaining the significance of their evidence. Um, and particularly explaining how this evidence supports the point they're trying to make in this paragraph. And then finally, in our last sentence, we see um, a really strong conclusion and transition to the next idea, um, where they say, um, where they start, they're going to start talking about avoiding the effects of this problem. Um, and 
we can see that, the, that they're going to start telling us more about the causes of the problem. Um, so they actually are doing effects first and then moving to causes of the problem. And that's really clear for the reader because they've given us a strong transition in this concluding sentence. So now what we're looking at um, is you can see through the colors um, how this, uh, this student has done an excellent job of integrating evidence learned from their research sources into their own writing um, in a way that makes this paragraph their own writing, their own ideas, and not just an example of repeating something you heard in a source. So I hope that helps you integrate evidence from your own sources.